Right, welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 for a long awaited video and obviously this is totally different from what you normally see when you load up the game because we are at a totally different launch site and the reason behind that is because we're at a totally different planet. Now this is my planet and this is where I've decided to plop down the, the launch pad so I've created myself a whole new system to explore in a couple of videos here so if we take a look outside we will go through what is here so let's just have a look so first is the sun i couldn't rename the sun because when i tried to add a new sun or replace this sun it wouldn't let us save so this is juno is a normal the normal standard sun but then we have mara and mara is a small rock literally just a little like i don't know what you would call it a little brain just orbiting around the sun here so then next we have if we go out a little bit i thought i'd put that in quite an eccentric orbit to make it seem like it was a comet or something like that and then next we have malta which is a molten planet but there is some surprises with malta so we'll have to check that out once we visit it. So then we go a little bit further out. We have Turan. Oh, it's actually Turan that's got some surprises. Molten is just a molten planet. This one has a lot of surprises because this one actually has an atmosphere, which I know it's not physically possible, but it looks cool. So we just did it anyway. And around this, we have a planet. And I've named some of these after subscribers so you'll obviously you'll recognize the name if you are the person that it, you are named after now this is like an icy planet it's got icy lakes and it's got icy rivers so that's pretty cool it's just a moon around um Turan. and then we go further out and we have our planet which is robertus <laughs> which is just robert in latin <laughs> I thought that was the easiest way to do it. And we have a moon, Locus, which is actually space in Latin. So you know who you are, the subscriber that that's named after. And around Locus is Locus I, which is literally just a chunk that's been took off the moon and it decided to stick around, floating around in a polar orbit, in a slightly polar orbit. It is slightly off. I didn't want it exactly on. Oh, actually, it might be perfectly straight, but never mind. And then we go further out here. We go further out. We have Victor. Now, Victor is the Martian planet and it is hasn't got a moon or anything. I didn't put a moon around it. I thought we'll just leave it on its own. It is quite a different style than the standard one i did change quite a bit of the colors and everything and the atmosphere does look pretty cool once you're down on the surface so once again we'll have to check that out once we get there and then further out we have trevedi which is a gas giant which is pretty multicolored <laughs> i wanted some different colors so we made it multicolored some of these planets do have rings as well but you can't really see them on the map screen and around it it has ico which is just another ice moon, but this one has ice lakes on it, as you can see there. It's got icy lakes, so yeah, this is pretty cool. We've um, got our own little planet here, so what we're going to do, our first trip, we're going to be going straight to Locus. So we're going to be targeting that. And we've got our old moon lander here to see if this thing still works, so let's get started and go for it shall we why is it not working why is the stage is not working let's end this flight and see what's going on i think it's because it was controlled by me for some reason let's have a look make sure that this Is set to primary there we go and the stages should all be the same still yeah and then 
activation groups. I think everything's set up. It should be all okay. Anyway, we'll go for it. I don't know why. I think it's probably just because this is from an older version of the game that the, the files are a bit messed up. But here we go. Let's go for a launch this time and actually get off the ground, shall we? So yeah, the the planet is the same size and um, you know properties as the original the home planet here, but we have changed a few things. We've changed the land. We've changed the water. We've made the water a little bit more like tropical, and obviously um, made the atmosphere a bit lighter as well. Because I thought it would be pretty damn cool to change things up a little. Here we go, we'll just start doing our turn a little. Make sure we are going east. So yeah, everything is a little bit closer in this system. Um, it's a little bit closer together than what I would have really hoped for it to be. But I did like the idea of being able to see things close by. So I wanted them a little bit closer than they normally are. So we are going to have a slight inclination because we're not exactly on the equator here. But I did want a beach um, launch site. So it was a bit like a uh, Boca Chica kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, we went for that. Uh, oh, that is tall. That is getting tall there. That is really getting tall. Let's... Let's extend out that orbit a little bit. Because it's been so long since I played this, it is really hard to um, remember what I'm doing. Right, we're going to stop this because we're going to waste a lot of fuel here. So we'll just turn the sensitivity up on this a little bit and we'll get ourselves in an orbit here. Before we ditch all of our fuel, trying to just get into orbit. And that, that will do, that will do there. Right, we'll lock that in and we'll launch to that. I forgot how um, powerful this launcher was, to be honest. I didn't realise how powerful this was. I'm guessing I, I over-engineered this a bit when I was making me moon lander. And we are going to run out of fuel, but we should still get it if we stage quick enough. Hopefully, this one's as powerful. Performance. Thrust away is two, so it should be fine. Let's get the fairing away. We don't need that. It's just added weight. And there we go. There's our lander again. I, I forgot how beautiful this thing was <laughs> when I made it with our little ring thing on. I could have gotten rid of that, to be honest, to make it look a bit prettier, but... I just wanted to explore our, system, our new system here with you guys, so I just loaded up a quick, um, quick craft. So yeah, we will try and get on the little rock that's around um, Locus as well. Now oh, we've got plenty of fuel in this stage. Hopefully. I think we've got plenty of fuel. And there we go. We are in orbit, so that will be fine. Right, what we want to do now, we will set a maneuver up. We are going to get Locus as a target. Go back to our player. Uh, let's get this going. Delta V, 1000 and odd. Yeah, we've still got plenty. We'll turn the sensitivity down a little. Whoa, what is happening here? Have I not set this up right? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we've got a little bit of an inclination here. Right, we have got a bit of inclination. So, how about we change that first? And then go out? We're going to pause here while we um, fix out the manoeuvre. I don't know if I've set these orbit lines up right so that we'll be able to get into an orbit. I think we should be okay. Um, we'll burn at that and then see what happens from there hopefully we've set up these orbits correctly <laughs> I don't know if I'll even be able to catch the sphere of influence here. I might have set up this system a little bit wonky. <laughs> so yeah, this will just be a little mini series where we explore the system that I've made and um, plant some I was going to see if plant some flags, but you can't really plant flags in Simple Rockets 2. <laughs> we'll do some stuff. Don't worry about that. 20% fuel left. Uh, we should be fine to finish. Right, we're in the planet studio, and you can see our sphere of influence is not including the moon. So we need to increase that. We'll just put the default. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And that includes the moon then. So we can see of that. But now this, that is going to have to have a bigger one to include that. Like so. I want to make sure that is correct. I'm going to see of that. Check this one. That one's fine. Check this one. That one's fine. Right, now that should all be good. What we have to do, we now have to start a new save to be able to do this. So, just call it the one to match the sim system name. That's just what I came up with. <laughs> right, so here we are just circularizing our orbit again. Hopefully this time our sphere of influence is gonna be perfect. So we won't just skip off the planet again. Skip out the system, I mean. Let's have a look. 18 seconds and then we are in orbit. Circularized. And there we go, pretty much perfect. Right, so if we now select the moon Go back to our player, go around here, add a maneuver. Yes, that is more like it, isn't it? Get that like that. And then we want an encounter, a nice encounter. Let's change the sensitivity down. And we want it to be nice. Ooh. And oh no 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 no. Change that sensitivity down quite a bit. 
so we can get it nice and close we'll do that for now and then on our way out we'll do another burn to lock that into place so let's get that burn started here we go off to our first planet of the system locus So yeah, I knew there was a little bit of an issue with the sphere of influence and that was what was causing it. Because I didn't realise that you had to have the sphere of influence include like the moons inside of that for it to work. I wonder why that orbit line shows yet yeah, the other ones don't. That's weird. Yeah, I didn't realise that's how it worked. So we'll fix that now and hopefully that issue is going to be no more. There's our burn to Luna. Right. Or should I say Locus? Let's bring that back a bit. Because we went way too far on that. I'm going to bring that down. Bring it down. Bring it in. In that we're not that far in that will do we'll lock that in warp to that burn yeah I didn't realize when you're in the planet studio that the actual sphere of influence has to include the moons and not exclude them but we've learned that lesson now and are we getting an encamp yes we are we are going to be 24 kilometers above right Okay, let's warp to that next point. And here we are. Look at that in all its glory. So what I think we'll do, I think we'll just plop it down straight on the side here. I think we'll go straight into a... Should we go straight into a... No, maybe not. Let's go into an orbit first. I think that's probably wiser. It's going to take quite a lot of delta V. Not too much. There we go. We'll lock that burn in. Set that one away. And look at this surface of Locus here. How beautiful. And not far away from the planet itself. So where's our little moon? Our little lump? There it is. <laughs> We might see if we've got enough Delta V to go and interact with that after as well. Right, so let's go around here and we'll try and get in to a crater. Let's try and get into this crater here. Right, we'll lock that in. Oh, I forgot the t that the planet moves. And we weren't going to be there anymore. Where's our little rock? Is that our little rock, buddy? Yeah, it is. That's awesome. Yeah, so we might be a little bit off target here. Let's go retrograde. We still have our um, transfer stage as well. We've still got fuel left in that, so that is cool. And that orbits at quite a rate, doesn't it? That little rock, that little shard of the locus moon there with two times speed what I want to do I want to get these legs out already um, do I need to activate group one down like that activate group two Ah, that is... Ah, right, okay. How do we extend these again? How did I extend these? Is it slider 2? Yeah, it is. 
Right, we'll extend them legs down. There we go. That is sorted, so we don't have to do that, just in case, because I forgot how to do them, and I didn't want to panic last minute and have to <laughs> quickly get the legs down. So there's our little rock. What we'll do, we've still got plenty of fuel. Just going to get 10 times speed here. And we are going to bleed off some speed. As our velocity. We want to take off as much lateral velocity as possible. Ooh, that was way too much. Right, I think we'll ditch that now. So we're not carrying that extra weight around so we can manoeuvre a bit better. Get rid of our lateral if possible. Let's get, a, get rid of that seven lateral there. It's not a lot, but it can do damage when we've got wobbly legs. Six. Five. Put a bit more throttle in. There's our stage going down. We're not over a crate here, are we? No. Do one, let's go 90 degrees. Get a bit more throttle in. Oh! We underdid it! <laughs> we underdone it! Ah, no! I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We didn't even do a quick save. What a terrible time. What a terrible time. Let's see if we can survive re-entry into the, onto the planet. <laughs> what we could do... It's EVA. And we'll try and survive this, shall we? Try and brace for impact here. There's our command pod. Right, we'll speed up time a little bit. Come on. We can land it. We can always do a rescue mission. Twenty-four meters per second. There's our shadow, and we are going to make it. At least that's something. At least our guy's going to survive. Oops. And there we go. Our guy made it. And that's all that matters. So we'll have to do a rescue mission for this guy. And go to the little moon around Lucas. Locus, sorry, and so yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for joining in this one, and I'll see you in the next one.